Hi, today I am going to start a series of uh, lectures uh, for those professional uh, which are uh, preparing or planning to uh, get the certification uh, of supply chain professionals. So this is the first lecture and I hope we will keep doing this uh, a series of lecture for those supply chain professionals who are uh, seeking the certification in that so i hope you like the first lecture and i'm waiting for your feedback so i can do the next one as well thank you in this lecture we are going to talk about following uh, topics first is definition of supply chain management then characteristics of supply chains identities in a supply chain flows in a supply chain manufacturing supply chain model service supply chain model, types of supply chain, and then finally example of a supply chain. So please stay with me, so then we can discuss one by one. So let's first uh, define the supply chain management according to Apex. The design, planning, execution, control, and monitoring of supply chain activities with the objectives of, so this is the activities we do in supply chain management keeping the objectives of creating net value, building a competitive infrastructure, leveraging wide, worldwide logistic, uh, synchronizing supply with demand and measuring performance globally. So this is the definition of supply chain management and its objectives. So what are the supply chains? These are the characteristics of the supply chains. They stretch from new materials to consumer, I'm sorry, they stretch from the raw material to consumer, include various identities, flows and processes, run into world end user and reverse as well, contain cash, product and information flows, connect to outside stakeholders, include processes, supply planning, product planning, demand planning, sales and operations planning and supply management. So these are some of the things supply chains do. Uh, you can see this picture which uh, tells you the basic supply chain. They have three identities and four flows. Three identities are suppliers, producers and customers and the flows are product flow, information flow cash flow and the reverse uh, so this is the four flows in a in a supply chain and three basic uh, players in the uh, a supply chain with suppliers producers and customers which exchange uh, or receive or send uh, products cash information and uh, returns so you can see from these pictures which are showing like three main players in a supply chain. Uh, those are uh, suppliers, producers and then customers. Uh, suppliers are providing uh, uh, raw material, energy, services or components whereas producers are manufacturers are producing goods, uh, producing powers, providing professional services and then other services including like uh, uh, governmental services and educational services. So these are like uh, on the producer uh, side of the supply chain. Then there are customers uh, who, are pro who are distributors, wholesaler, retailer and end users. So from this picture you can see uh, that how the uh, supply, what are the uh, functions or the characteristics of this each identity in a supply chain. So these are the so these are the four flows in a supply chain, and this picture tells you the direction of uh, uh, the these flows. So let's discuss these in the next slide. Four flows are uh, of supply chain management. The first one is the product flow. It contains material, components, supplies, services, energy, and finished product. Then information flow is uh, it has invoices, sale literature, specs, blueprints, receipts, order, rules and regulation etc. And then cash flow payment 
for the product and supplies. And then reverse flow is the return of repair, uh, replacement, recycling and disposable uh, things etc. So these are the four flows and I also uh, mentioned uh, tell, uh, presenting the their picture as well in the previous uh, slide. Here, this is, you know, supply chains models of two kind of supply chain models, which first one is for manufacturing, another one is for the service. And right now you are looking at manufacturing supply chain model, which has like a supplier tied to, these are the supplier, supplier, then suppliers, then manufacturer, then distributors, and then and customers. So this is a simple model of man manufacturing supply chain model. And services has also have also uh, supply chains, and you can see from the example of one uh, uh, power plant, electric power plant, utilities. It is receiving uh, supplies. It is receiving backup power and electric transformers, facility maintenance, programming services, and then janitorial services. So then it is coming to a electric power utility, and then is a distribution to other utilities home and commercial customers. So this is an example of service, you know, service industries are also like uh, hospitals, schools and a lot of other services are have also supply chain. So after having discussing two different models uh, of supply chain, let's talk about the types of supply chains. So basically there are two uh, types. One is the uh, when they are integrating uh, vertically and the second one is when they are uh, integrated uh, lateral or horizontal. So when they are, what is vertical? A degree to which a firm directly controls multiple links in the supply chain from raw material extraction to retail sales. So when you are, have, uh, you are connected with the, from, supply, from supply to uh, retail sales uh, directly or you have control over that. So it's called vertical. Uh, integration uh, you know in Pakistan we have KNN and uh, other well, this is the best example of vertical integration then it's a lateral that is coordinated management of separately owned links in the supply chain that is outsourcing and raw material here we, we are uh, controlling the same kind of uh, businesses we we are doing so this is called uh, horizontal integration so you can see uh, this uh, pictorial representation of uh, uh, vertical integration, integrated automotive uh, company, ownership, management, uh, marketing, sales and finance. So from raw material, then component production, then plant, then distribution and showroom. So they are like from raw material till retail, they are owned by same company. So it's called vertical integration. A controlling owning or controlling so this you can see the control so benefit of vertical integrations no dealing with competitor for supply suppliers or supplies enhance visibility into uh, operation same ownership and management for our activities in supply chain so you have better control and you can serve your customers much better as compared to standalone uh, supply chains So uh, lateral uh, integration is like you are acquiring same kind of uh, uh, businesses around. You are like, uh, and you can see it is like horizontal. The other one was vertical. It is like raw material, components, plant, distribution, retail, and customers. So uh, the benefit of lateral integration is economy of scales and scope. When you have more than one factory of same thing, you can produce more, you can buy more, so you can get the economy of scales. Improve business focus, yeah, you can, if you are focusing on one thing, you know, you, maybe you are doing only the production, so you are manufacturing, so you can focus on the thing. Maybe you are only in transportation, maybe you are only in supplying something, or maybe you are only in retailing. So instead of, uh, like in vertical, doing everything, you are doing things which are, in which you are good and expanding uh, horizontally not vertically so leveraging communication and production competitors so you can you know you can compete with your um, cust uh, competitor in a better way due to your economy of sales and improve business uh, focus so this is another way of uh, you know uh, integration uh, showing integration that 
forward or backward balanced integration the first one is showing is the forward integration in which if you are manufacturer you are also controlling marketing sales and also after sales service it is in backward you are uh, you are controlling uh, raw material or intermediate goods and in balance you are you know one step in the back and one step front so you are uh, have a balanced uh, integration so these were like, oh, yeah. so after uh, uh, explaining you everything let's uh, see the example of a food supply chain which start from the farms and end to the end customer so uh, you know uh, farms to uh, traders and then process uh, plants and then factory and then warehouses and then wholesaler and then retail restaurant and then reaching to you the food so uh, when next time you go to a restaurant and order some uh, you know food so she also thinks about think about its uh, total supply chain uh, from from where it is started so that way you will understand that how does it work so i hope it is a the first lecture you like it if you have any question please make sure that you um, write down and i will try to answer those of the question thank you for your time